me show you. Very simple. Very simple. Hershey, Pennsylvania at Hershey Park. I am so excited. Haven't been here for years and years, so I'm not sure where anything is, but they do have a monorail, and I think that's a good start. Because, yeah, they have a monorail. And what better way to see the park through your own eyes in the sky, like the highway in the sky. Rumor has it that these Hershey Park garbage cans are actually scratch and sniffs. It smells just like garbage. This monorail is not like Disney at all, but it'll do, it'll do. It has no windows, so you get a little breeze. I'm excited. Goodbye, have a good day. Ooh, look who's back. They have a dolphin show and a zoo. Hershey Park Happy during Halloween and Christmas with Hershey Park. That helped out a lot. There was a lot of things I seen that I want to do now. Uh, the zoo, Zoo America, there was like a bear right underneath the monorail. I thought that was pretty awesome. I also want to do the kissing tower and also want to do some of those coasters. Maybe that trailblazer. I don't know the names of the roller coasters exact. Maybe I should have got a map. Such a beautiful setting. I think my first ride is going to be trailblazer only because of that guy. This is a little roller coaster. And can I also say it's opening day and I walk right on the ride? No weights. All right, nice and easy. Just the way I like it. It makes a lot of noise. All right, we're picking up some speed. A lot of speed! <laughs> That was cute. That was a short, lovely little ride there. That was a cute little ride to get the blood going. Especially this part right here. I was on my way to the next destination. I smelled something pretty good. Look at them. They are over here frying up pierogies on a flat top. Pierogies on a flat top. Up next, while I was on the monorail, I noticed this cool classic car, kind of like on a speedway, like they have at Disney World, but classic looking cars, so I gotta check that out. Ooh, well I can actually hit two birds with one stone, because the kissing tower is here, and then the classic cars is here. I don't like how they have Sunoco planted all over it, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers, you know? So I decided to do the kissing tower first and uh, the line's a little bit shorter that's why I figured by the time I got out maybe that one die out 
and I'm trying to get myself prepared, moistening lips and getting ready to pucker up, but I'm all by myself, so we'll see where this goes. Look, there it goes. Goodbye. All right, I'm in here. Look at it. All oh, the windows are like kisses. That was so awesome. Look at it, it goes all the way up there. All the way up. Let's take a ride on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. America's first super highway. Felt really good saying it that way. Very powerful. Just look at how cool these cars are. I want that one. Oh wait, no, I want the blue one. Oh wait, I don't want the blue one. I want the burgundy one. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be mine. Oh, oh boy, that's the little gas pedal down there, and I'm off. Woohoo! Look at me go. <laughs> Give it some more power here. <laughs> oh. oh boy. This is seriously actually a lot of fun. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving. Thank you. Only if that has a horn. Oh, come on. No horn. No bumping. No bumping. No bumping. Nope. Don't do it. Close. Seriously, this is the longest I waited for a ride all day long. I waited probably about 45 minutes and it was worth every minute. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. You were fantastic. Look at the level of excitement on my face there. I didn't even know they were taking my photo. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to top the antique cars because that was amazing. But I started getting a little famish, so I got something to eat. And they had a pretty cool french fry stand that I went and grabbed and they had a whole potato and they kind of like crushed it. And it's potato, deep fryer, french fries. Pretty simple. But it does make a good french fry. Yes, indeed. Look at those crispy, brown, mmm. I've come to a crossroad because I don't know if I should jump to the extreme or should I progressively get up to the extreme. You know what I mean? So like I did Trailblazer, that's like for beginners. I don't know if I should just jump from beginner to extreme or if I should take the medium course. Super duper looper would be the medium course, but Right on the other side of Super Duper Looper is Sky Rush. 
and that is that big gigantic yellow roller coaster right there I'm gonna probably have to think about it first I think we're gonna do sky rush oh man but while I was thinking it looked like they shut down for some reason and everyone's waiting outside to see if it's gonna reopen again I don't know I'll give it a couple minutes I guess oh it opened opened look at this <laughs> oh boy I am excited <laughs> Look at these seats, they're so weird. Okay, I really did ride it. I just couldn't film it. But that was insane. Wow. Ah, craziness. You gotta be this high. Very odd about that roller coaster, Sky Rush, because I've been on lots of roller coasters and I've never had them ask them to take my glasses. They, they, they asked, can I take your glasses off? And I was like, yeah, and they're like, you'll probably lose them if you keep them on. Never had that asked. So, I wasn't able to film on it, but I gotta say, it was a good roller coaster. High five. High five from Kit Kat. What's up? Awesome. Okay, I made my way to my next coaster conquer. Lightning Racer. You got a coaster on this side, and you got a coaster on this side. And you got weights on this side, weights on this side, yeah? Luckily, I ran into a friend who is a local here. He's got a YouTube channel also. Actually, I watched his vlogs for Hershey Park before I actually came here. So it was kind of funny that we you know, ran into each other or I reached out to him. But anyway, I'll put his link in the description so you can check out his channel. And we're gonna ride Lightning Racer. And this roller coaster is a dual-sided wooden racing roller coaster. As you can see, you have this side and you have this side over here. And I don't think you actually compete, but I'm excited. I love wooden roller coasters. It's been a long time since I've been on a wooden roller coaster. So uh, this is going to be fun. So I actually could not bring my camera on this roller coaster. They don't like having loose articles on the coaster. GoPros are fine, but I didn't know that until I was already sat down, seated, and buckled in. So then I had to come out. So I'll show you a little bit on the outside here. It was definitely pretty intense. And I can see why they don't want to have, you know, loose articles actually in the air. I think they would probably lose, I would, might lose my camera there. But I digress. But you know who was prepared? Eric was prepared because he brought his GoPro with him. So maybe we get to see some of his GoPro footage actually. Next, we're gonna try on the Wildcat. Well, there's something about wooden coasters that kind of gives it a little bit more of a thrill. Even though there's not any loops or spins or spirals, just the shakiness. And I remember this roller coaster when I was younger. It is very rough. Very rough on the body. The Wildcat. I just like the way it sounds. It has power in it. There she goes. No kidding, that hurts the body. Wow, the Wildcat really hurt the body. Enjoy your ride. Yes. Thank you. What? Oh, come on, Hershey. Me and Kit Kat are tight. Something caught my nose. Yep, 
I smelled something and it was kettle corn. Look at this. Wow. God, when are they gonna invent smell o vision Oh. I'm gonna turn right in this way. Maybe we can get a better look. See him there? You gotta be careful. Uh-huh. Very good. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me today at Hershey. I had a great time. Uh, it's a great park. It's very nice. I like the old wooden roller coasters a lot. I like the food here. The food is very good. Uh, but overall, I had a lot of fun. So, I want to say thanks to Eric for hanging out with me, showing me some cool stuff that I didn't know about Hershey. I'm going to put his YouTube link in the below, and uh, you can check him out because he was very cool, very helpful. And love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, they stamp your hand so you can come back next year. Pretty awesome. <laughs>